Tom Maurer, senior of Sizzle International. And you were talking about um, cosmetics and and could you state again, because I kind of missed it, uh, uh, how many women are going to use mineral-based cosmetics? Yeah, right now, amazingly enough, this has just taken over. Uh, but 47% of the women use mineral-based uh, color cosmetics. And mm -hmm. the surveys show that 93% say they're going to. Uh, that is absolutely amazing. Yeah, but the is. problem is they are contaminated with heavy metals. And these heavy metals are things like uh, serious as uranium, one, uh, lead, cadmium, zinc, aluminum, all kinds of toxic heavy metals like this, beryllium, things of this nature uh, that are so harmful to the body. And the problem, one of the problems is, of course, they're there. But the skin is acidic. Uh, it's uh, the skin naturally is uh, is acidic to help uh, to keep bacteria from growing on it. So we have an acid, uh, acidic range of somewhere around five to five point five, with seven being neutral. So it's somewhat acidic. And when you put acid and metal together, it degrades metal quite quickly. And so these metals that are in, involved in the minerals, because remember, there's just a combination of minerals, uh, and they're mined from the earth, and so. So when the minerals hit the acids of the skin, they ionize. In other words, they take the very smallest atoms off it, and then they easily penetrate in the skin and go, and they're toxic to the skin, to the body. They're carried around through it. They deposit in organs, especially liver, things like this, and they're a serious health hazard. So as I looked at this, with so many women wanting it, I, I've gone to the work of uh, building a product line called Timeless Minerals. And we literally have removed all of the toxic heavy minerals. And so I tell people, well, the best thing about our products is what's not in it. Right. And that's <laughs> Oh, wow. And I love the mineral line, the makeup line. It is amazing. I've never been much for uh, wearing a lot of makeup or spending a lot of money on makeup. But I'll tell you what, when I, uh, it's not, um, an expensive line, it, but it, the quality and the how long they last. I have had one. I tend to wear the same color of eyeshadow all you know every day, and I have had that eyeshadow since last November, like what 14 <laughs> months now, and I'm still using. I use it every day. I can't believe it. It's just amazing how long they last. So, I just yeah. love your your mineral makeup line. Oh, thank you. So prevention is worth a pound of cure, right? So when you take a look at this, if the single greatest contaminant to your bodies is uh, personal care products, take them, go in your bathroom, put them where they belong, throw them right in the garbage can, and then yeah. replace them with safe products. But I'll tell you what, it is darn hard to find any that aren't contaminated. We have on our Sizzle website a list of the harmful, the really serious harmful ingredients that you should avoid. Mm -hmm. uh, and as a consequence, uh, people could simply read a label if they knew the things to look for, and there's 15 or 20 that are really quite serious. Uh, just as one example for you, Danny, uh, they've done a, uh, some research on breast cancer cells, and they found out that 94% of them have parabens. That's the common preservative that's used in almost all cosmetics. And, uh, and they have 100% that have dioxin in it. And you'll never find dioxin on the label, but it's in most of the products that you'll use uh, of where they use a process called ethoxylation. And that that's in toothpaste, uh, hair shampoo, bubble bath, uh, oh bath gosh. and shower gels, uh, all of those things. And your dishwashing detergent. Hmm. And uh, so the um, dioxin is a serious cancer-causing agent. And, and why wouldn't some, we find that on the label? Is there... Yeah, it's a tramp ingredient, uh, and that means that it's uh, created during the processing of forming an ingredient. And because it's there and it's not the main ingredient, it just naturally occurs during ethoxylation is the chemical process. Uh, and so it forms, but you end up with the end ingredient, which is something like a LARETH or a PEG, which is polyethylene glycol. You'll see that in a lot of products. But uh, if you know that, uh, if you know what to look for, and it's, I know uh, moms aren't scientists, so you just need to look. If anything has the word Laura through PEG, you should avoid it. And there's a number of others. But uh, in making that sodium Laura sulfate, as an example, uh, that is what the chemical will come out as. But in the processing of taking it from 
a compound called sodium lauryl sulfate to sodium lauryl, that's ethoxylation. And in the change in it, there is a reaction that takes place so that you have a higher foam level, but it also creates a compound called 1,4-dioxane, and it's not what you're after, so it's not. it doesn't have to be listed. See? Wow, that's and crazy. And there's, there's a lot of rules and stuff like that. Uh, huh. uh, wow. And visualize this. Uh, you know the Vietnam vets uh, that got uh, cancer from Agent Orange, uh, that they were defoliating the jungles of uh, Vietnam. That was dioxin that caused that. Oh, gosh. And so uh, how would you like to be standing out in the jungles of Vietnam when they were spraying Agent Orange on it? Would you want to be there? <laughs> Absolutely well, not. Not okay, so visualize this when you step in the shower. If you use an ethoxylated shampoo, which almost everybody is, you're just like you're standing in the jungles of Vietnam because you're showering yourself with a product that probably came, contains dioxin in it that rapidly goes right into your uh, your system. And we're doing that every single day. I'm yeah, doing that with day. my, you know, ah, just makes me crazy. People are doing with that it. with their kids, and oh yeah, toothpaste and shampoo, and this is you know people need to know the word needs to be spread, and and that's that's why again just everybody listening just go to sizzle international s-i-s-e-l international.com and check out the product lines check out the makeup check out the shampoo um the personal care line is amazing the nutritional supplements if there's a lot of listeners mr mauer um who are dealing with some serious diseases cancer and you know sarcoidosis and heart disease and things like that and i kind of intended for the show to mainly be about those but we got off track but i'm glad we did because people really need we need to spread the word and spread the message and, you know, the Mauer mission and toxin-free products. But formulating non-toxic nutritional supplements and personal care products, a leading scientist, icon in the industry, you've taught and spoke before hundreds of thousands of people all over the world. And so I just really want to thank you so much for... 